Well, welcome back to Jen Reads. Today I'm going to be telling you about my half price books coupon week book haul. And we, if you don't know, they do a coupon week about three or four times a year. And basically you're emailed a coupon for each day of the entire week. The first two days are 20% off. The second two days are 30% off. Friday, Saturday is 40% off one item, and then Sunday is going to be 50% off one item. I can tell you from 11 months of working on Half Price Books, these things are really, really, really popular, and they're really big hits with customers, and I'm no different because I'm also a customer. So, let me go ahead and get started. The first book that I bought for my Half Price Books Coupon Week book haul is L.A. Requiem by Robert Crace. Now, the other books that I bought this week, or this past week, are all for my 2017 Reading Challenge. This one, however, isn't. Funny story, I actually had this book uh, quite a while ago. I actually, it was one of the books I took to my, uh, to DC last year when I went there on vacation. And somehow or another in the time from getting back home to putting the book back on the shelf, it disappeared and it was lost forever. So I had to replace it and I wouldn't have it with the coupon. The next book I got was Anthem by Anne Rand. And this is of course 2017 Reading Challenge book. It'll be a book that I read uh, written under a pen name. Honestly, I don't know anything about it. Next, of course, also 2017 Reading Challenge, The Federalist Papers. And this will be this will be satisfying the requirement to read a political book. And recently at my new job, we were asked just a little icebreaker at the beginning of a long day, five things we would take on a desert, on like an island, and what we would take. And one of the things that I said that was <laughs> disregarded by the rest of the group was that I would take the US Constitution because as flawed as uh, and imperfect as it is the US Constitution to me is the most important document in the history of Western civilization and so this book when I saw it for how cheap it was I was like hey let me get it so I went ahead and got it I'm sure it took me quite a while to get through it because of my work schedule and, and the length of it but definitely what I'm looking forward to. Next up, 2017 Reading Challenge book, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Now, fun fact, I love Dracula. Like, Dracula is, I'm actually going to probably reread that book for the first time this year. And I know that these are not the same. And, but as far as the horror genre, I mean, when you look back at it and you look at what it is today, I mean, you can really go back to Dracula, to Frankenstein, a couple others that were written in that similar era and say they really, really, you know, uh, gave birth to what we know today and what's been written the last 100, 150 years. So definitely one I'm looking forward to. And also, if you don't know, Barnes & Noble Classics are always super cheap, so imagine how cheap it was at Half Price Books with a coupon. I'm cheap, that's it. <laughs> Next one is, of course, 2017 Rechon's book, The Autobiography of Mark Twain. Now, I gotta be honest here, there were probably a handful, maybe even a dozen um, other literary biographies that I was looking for to satisfy that requirement for my reading challenge. Wasn't able to find them, wasn't really looking to get them on Amazon or, or look online or anything. So I just went ahead and got the one that I found. Uh, so I really honestly don't know much about Mark Twain. I know that he, Mark Twain is a pen name. Off the top of my head, I don't, I don't remember his real name, although I have seen it. Um, but this would be a literary biography. And, you know, I imagine with how well-known he is, how renowned he is, um, how remembered his work is, I imagine this would be a good book. And last but not least, a book that is not a 2017 Reading Challenge book is The Wrong Side of Goodbye by Michael Connolly, the latest Harry Bosch book. It was written, it was published in November, and they actually had several copies at the store. But I went ahead and got the one with a minor tear on the corner, so instead of being priced at $14, it was priced at seven. And then also with the coupon, I think I got it for like four bucks. I will take it, Harry Bosch is the man. That's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments, have you ever utilized the Half Price Books Coupon Week? Because I swear, if you're not, then I don't know what you are doing with your life. I'll see you next time.